Hello everybody, welcome to the Generic Happy YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. I am Generic Happy, and today we are going to be reacting to the soon to be released Pokemon Scarlet and Violet second trailer. Um, yesterday I released a predictions hash discussion video for this trailer um, just to sh pretty much reveal um, what I think we will see. It is just a trailer, it's not a Pokemon Presents, so that, that kind of required um the fan base you know oh, oh sorry about that 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 kind of required uh the fan base to take a little step back on what we expect to see today but i think we'll still see a bunch of stuff that's pretty cool and they did announce it early so we will you know now know to react to it it is nine o'clock now uh, i expected to start this a little earlier but um you know sometimes things happen it's a three minute trailer uh, it is literally called the second trailer for Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet, so you know what? Let's just get straight into it. Um, I just saw a new Pokemon reveal, so uh, you know, but it's already out, so let's just watch it. Um, that's that's spoilers. We can we're not gonna read the spoilers. Okay, so we get we get we get we get some gameplay. You see that? Okay, never mind. That thing appeared in the corner. So we got logos. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Professors. Okay. <laughs> Quaxley. You guys don't know. I choose Quaxley. New Pokemon. That's our. That's probably our rival. Looks like a pretty cool rival. What? We can have. We can go four people at once. It's like an MMO. Fluffy. That's another new Pokemon. That's pretty cool Pokemon too. It's a pig! It's a... Le... Le honk. Le honk. It's pretty cool. Chudo. That's the Pokemon Center. That's, that's, yeah, it's a trade. And I'm on. Colossal. Colossal. Lamented Talent Flame Battle That looks like that's it. No, we got another minute, never mind. If I can get the box legends now. This is some interesting uh background. Okay, so that's probably the Scarlet, and that's probably the Violet Legend. That's great. What? Oh my god, those look so cool. Those actually look so cool. One Scarlet, but one Violet. And that's what the boxes are going to look like. November 18th. Yo, November 18th, and Van Digital, digital periods are available now. What is this? What? Okay. <laughs> that was actually a really cool trailer. I like that a lot. Like, that was so cool. I, oh, no. <laughs> that was actually so cool. Um, <laughs> wow. I didn't, I, honestly, so what I predicted yesterday is we would get the name of the region. We did not get that, but we'll, um, I do have the website open, so we'll probably get the some extra information from the website when that's finally updated. Um, you guys might see a cut when that happens because um, 
I don't know when that's going to be updated. It could be updated in like another 10 minutes, another 4 minutes, you know, somewhere in between there. So, but we'll we'll wait on that. Um, but that was actually really cool. We got we got three new Pokemon reveals. We didn't get two of their names, so um, that's another thing we have to look on the website. That looked like an MMO feature, um, like right here. I I know that we had this in the wild area as well, so maybe it's just like a you know outside thing. Pokemon do follow you, um, you know. That's something uh, that was kind of confirmed, kind of not confirmed. Pokemon do follow you, um, but what is it? Um, I don't know if there's like, because in the wild area you could see characters and you can interact with them, but they're not necessarily there. Um, so I wonder if this is like a more updated version of that, where you know that character is actually there. Maybe you can only talk to them. Maybe you, um, um, maybe can. Uh, so I, that's kind of confusing. I hope they explain that a little bit more. Um, you know, that's kind of interesting. Our new rival, I'm, I'm assuming that's our new rival. Uh, let me, let me mute it so it's not uh, too loud when I go and play through the trailer again. Um, Nimona, she looks cool. Uh, well, obviously we don't know. Um, but they look cool. Um, you know, their green hair. And then, we got our, got our, got our Cool buddy right here he's telling us about the if you connect with friends you can head out on adventures together up to four of you at one time so that, that's what makes me think you know maybe we can actually interact with each other and they actually like you know follow each other and actually like battle and stuff like that yeah we got a couple new scenery i honestly like the way the characters look i know a lot of people were complaining about it in the first trailer but i think this is actually really cool the way that they um look overall um you know we got four different sceneries we we didn't really see much of the game like actual sceneries we got this area we got um fletchling and flaffy and our new pokemon so we obviously don't know the name of this one either um looks cool like looks like a cool pokemon that's probably like our starter grass like a Bidu, um or like a bell sprout you know those kind of pokemon we got our uh, new lehlock lehawk Pokemon, very cool, very cool. And then you know we got obviously Trainer Ballers back. Um, people are probably gonna look at this. That does look like it's either gonna be like a Tauros. Um, that looks like Tauros, so that could allude to a Tauros regional or regional poke like version. Um, so you know maybe look at that. But um, then we got some more scenery. This Pokemon sound looks cool. Um, that, um, this could lead to like the water, fire, grass type of things, but, um, obviously Pokemon Center, it's an outdoor Pokemon Center, which is kind of cool. Um, we don't usually get those. We, we don't have, we don't have those. Um, but you know, the game is an open world game, so maybe they have to do this. So like, this is, the, this was like their, um, this is the compromise they came to when it came to, you know, you don't want too many loading screens in open world games so the fact that you can just run up to the pokemon center and just heal your pokemon that's probably why they did that um we got a uh bagon and larvitar those are probably gonna be like um get version exclusives um and then, now i'm not sure if they showed well i guess i i don't know if you have to run into the pokemon to battle them they didn't really show like that um, here, and then um, this was the uh, just like a, I guess maybe that's maybe like what the gyms look like, and then we got our um, box legends. We'll probably get those names on the website as well, but they look very cool. Uh, I, I honestly I don't know which I'm gonna choose now. I like the way that the violet one looks. I like the way that the um, scarlet one looks as well. I think I still want to go with the Violet one because it does look futuristic. I know that's a theory that a lot of people had. So I guess maybe that's this confirms it that the games do have like a past, present, I mean past and future kind of thing going on. So, you know, I, I guess that's confirmed here. And then obviously the boxes look really cool. Um, you know, pretty epic. But that is, I mean, that's pretty much that for the trailer. I mean, we've got our professors at the beginning as well. I'm, they're probably, this is probably the violent, this is probably the Scarlet one. And this, this kind of also uh, pushes the idea that like, there's a futuristic and a past 
um, or a past and a futuristic tone, like somewhat tone to these games. Um, that's kind of interesting as well. Again, we can't like talk too much about that. Maybe they explain it on the website, but uh, let's go look at the website and see if they got anything on there for it um, or anything updated. Okay, looks like they do, but the website might be a little broken right now. Um, so I will come back to this um, when it's, um, you know, <laughs> better, better. Well, maybe, let me see, home. Let me see if these buttons work. Explore. So, okay, I guess not. So we will come back to this um, when the website is fully functional. Unless this is what the website is supposed to look like, which I don't think it is. But let's also look at Twitter before I go um, pause the video. See if they tweeted anything. So new professors, new training. Okay. So um, I will be back in a couple minutes when the website is fully updated. But I will see you guys then. Uh, thank you so much at this point for watching up this video in the video and i hope you continue watching the rest of it i will be right back which is just gonna be a very short time for you guys but i will be right back okay so the website looks like it's updated now i had to switch browsers so um you know maybe the other browser wasn't working properly but um so the world of pokemon has evolved pokemon scarlet offer up uh, Pokemon Scarlet and, Scarlet and Violet offer an open world experience that only the Pokemon series can deliver on. One welcoming even to newcomers of the series. That's obviously the approach that we usually take with every Pokemon game. You can experience a new style of adventure with a world that you're free to explore at your leisure and not in an order di dictated by the story. You will of course journey to hone your skills as a Pokemon trainer, but many more discoveries and stories await you. Meet a variety of people in Pokemon and adventure in the world of Pokemon. So that's kind of interesting. Um, you will, um, wait, I was going to highlight the wrong one. A world that you're free to explore in leisure, not, and not dictate, um, and not in an order dictated by the story. So I guess that does kind of maybe confirm that gym leaders, if there actually is any gym leaders in this game, um, can actually be battled in like a different order. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, if they do do that, I know that's been a theory that's been going around for a long time now, um, since the reveals of these games. Um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet allow multiplayer gameplay with up to four players. Along with series staples such as trading and battling, you will also be able to explore a uh, explore various locations or regions in these games with other players. You can d discover new Pokemon and explore in familiar areas with your friends and family, opening the door to an adventure more precious and fun than ever. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Um, I, I, that's something I've always wanted in a Pokemon game. So the fact that we're getting that now, sorry about that. The fact that we're getting that now, that's ah, that's so cool. I like these, oh my, that's so cool. So that's just the first page on the website, I'm thinking. Um, yes, we go here, so we got home. So let's go to explore, unless we were just on explore. So we weren't on a home, we just go to home. Um, Pokemon Discover, so we finally got our first looks at actual like, the new Pokemon in um, in the game state. So another, I like the way that this looks. Um, okay, so the legendaries' names are Corridon and Miradon. So I'm assuming this is probably the Scarlet. This is probably the Violet Legend. Um, our new professors, meet the characters. Um, we already got that. So let's meet the characters. Um, introducing the main characters. So obviously they don't have names, but. <laughs> So, okay, so the, for the first time in the series, one of two different professors will appear in your game depending on the version you choose. Pokemon Scarlet, you'll meet Professor Sada, and per, in Pokemon Violet, you will meet Professor Toro. Each is carrying out research into certain lore passed down in the region. So, you know, this does look futuristic, and this does look like a past, you know, professor. So, I, that's something that, um, you know, I'm assuming... That probably alludes to some of the theories people have had online. Um, and then our rival, I guess, it's, they're calling it your friend. It's probably going to be like the rival of this game. Your friend, Nimora, has a sunny and energetic disposition. And she absolutely loves Pokemon battles. She is an experienced Pokemon trainer and serves as a reliable guide for you on your adventures. She has undisputed skill in battle, though it does also seem that she's not the best at throwing Pokeballs. I guess we'll see what that means when the game releases. Um, but that's that. So maybe we, maybe she isn't like a, um, 
the way that they're speaking about um her is that in the way that um what is it in the way that like she she is experienced so that probably means maybe she's not a rival maybe she's just someone we battle he, uh, here and there just to um hone her skills pokemon so our first pokemon part normal so we got obviously sprigatito Bucoco and Quaxley. If you guys know me, I'm always gonna choose water type, so I'm gonna choose Quaxley. Um, the legendary Pokemon, so we got Kiridon and Miridon. Um, let's actually look at these and see if they got information on them. Okay, so they do. Kiridon and Miridon grace the covers of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, respectively. Kiridon is a legendary Pokemon you will meet in Pokemon Scarlet. Miridon is a Pokemon legendary Pokemon you will meet in Pokemon Violet. These Pokemon are said to have powers that far surpass those of other Pokemon. But details about Kiridon and Miridon are still shrouded in mystery. Okay, so they don't really have anything about them uh, yet. So we got Palmy, Luck, Honk, and Smolvy. Palmy, Palmy is a mouse Pokemon. So this is like our Pikachu of the uh, games um you know okay very cool electric electrically discharging organs on his forepaws in addition to the electric sacs in its cheeks palmy has electricity discharging organs on his forepaws it generates electricity by rubbing his cheeks and then it shocks his opponents by touching them with the pads on his forepaws thick fur that stores electricity not only is the fur that covers his body good insulation against the cold but it also serves the purpose of storing electricity when it feels uneasy this cautious pokemon will begin rubbing its cheeks preparing itself to discharge an electric shock that's pretty cool then we got lechonk lechonk is a hot pokemon so no more so this would probably be like our um our like like our bidu of the um region it's also used as by nomura which is kind of cool or nomona Nimona, not Nomura. Nimona. Um, that's cool. You know, looks like a cool Pokemon. A Gourmand with an excellent nose. <laughs> Lechonk uses its sense of smell to find and eat only the most fragrant wild grasses and richest berries. As a result of its dining habits, it has come to radiate an aroma resembling herbs that bug Pokemon dislike. Timid and faint faint-hearted but also strong if attacked by an opponent and startled it will charge forward in a panic it may appear fat at first glance but in reality the pokemon's body is mostly muscle built by constantly walking around and searching for food okay it's another cool pokemon another cool pokemon and then smove smoluv um olive pokemon grass normal so i guess all of these are used by nimona so maybe that's why they showed them off um, oil so bitter and astringent it will make you flinch. The oil that comes out of its head has a very strong bitter taste and it is not suitable for consumption. When startled or attacked, Smoliv will shoot this oil out, slowing its opponent down. It will then seize that moment to run away, fine without eating or drinking. In the fruit of it on its head, Smoliv stores oil made from nutrients it gathers through photosynthesis. As a result, it can go a week without eating or drinking. It prefers dry and sunny climates, and it seems to spend its days sunbathing. Okay. Well, that does look like that is it that they have um, to show us today. Let me also let me just still look at well. Continue. Let me just look at the Twitter page. See if they got anything else more on here. Um, so. I guess that is probably it. Um, yeah, that is it. So, hmm, I expected. Oh, sorry, so okay. So I really like this trailer a lot. Um, I kind of expected it to be, um, you know. The trailer was a lot more than I thought it would be, honestly. Um, I know I predicted a couple things. We didn't get the region name, which is fine. Um, I kind of expected them to at least show on the website what the region name is, but that's probably something they're going to wait to reveal in a later trailer. Um, so that's fine. Um, but besides that, 
we got some new Pokemon. We got the Box Legends. We got, um, you know, these look really cool. We didn't get the gimmick for the game yet, unless there is no gimmick, um, which is probably would have been the time to reveal that. So, <laughs> who knows? But um, besides that, that's pretty much all I have for you all today. If anything else more comes out today, um, I will be sure to add on to the end of this video. So if you do see some, you know, a, a little longer than maybe like two or three minutes or like a minute extra that you see now, then there probably is something else that they released that um, I decided to talk about. But besides that, um, I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you do make sure you happy because I'm Ryan Machine Cappy. Please subscribe, like, comment, um, share this video with, um, you know, anyone that you want. And I will make sure to see you guys in the next one. Make sure you do make sure you happy because I'm Ryan Cappy. And goodbye. Well, I said there might be something extra that adds on, and I forgot to say this in the video, but if you guys do not know, uh, Jinichi Masuda, or Mr. Masuda from, uh, or formerly from Game Freak, has stepped down from Game Freak, and has now moved to become a creative fellow at, or creative chief, uh, chief creative fellow at the Pokemon Company, uh, as of today. So his last day was yesterday, according to this uh, post that the Pokemon Company put out. Um, so that's just something I wanted to, you know, I wanted, to, I put a tweet out on my other Instagram page, not the, I mean, on my other Twitter page, not this one, but, um, just wanted to thank him for, you know, creating a, uh, helping to create a franchise as big as Pokemon and, um, one that's as loved as much, um, loved, loved a lot from just not, uh, not just from me, but from, you know, the whole fan base, um, you know, he did a lot for this fan, uh, for this uh, franchise so I'm excited to see what he does uh, as a chief creative fellow at the Pokemon company but um that is it again thank you guys so much just for watching this video if you did watch up to this point um, comment down in the comments below what you this what you um, thought about the trailer what you think about this news and um, I will see you guys in the next one make sure you do make sure you happy because our arms are happy goodbye